Hello, everybody. Are we going to have an easy like Sunday morning? I am. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing really positive, everything positive and beautiful, and magical. So we got some really good cards to get our end of the week wind down uh, thoughts and uh, messages that need to come in. And I'm going to start. And you know what was interesting? When I was shuffling the uh, Dreams of Gaia Oracle, and I'm shuffling it, and I kept picturing this one card, and all of a sudden, the card came out. So <laughs> I knew that we were going to get the card. It's really weird. I try to practice this when I'm doing shuffling. If I can envision the card that's going to come out, I work with my um, my senses and my intuition and my gut feeling as I'm doing things during the day and with the cards sometimes I try to envision which one's going to come out and it was really funny that the one I envisioned came out because this is the three of fire and it's an action a necessary sacrifice experiment practice and refine he looks like he's going on a journey he's got his little hobo backpack and he's got his uh band around he's got his little everything he needs and he, he looks he looks like he's really just ready he, he's had enough he's looking back sideways and he's just like say bye so yeah this is a really interesting card avoid copying those who inspire set out into the great unknown and trust put your objective objectives first avoid cutting corners pay attention to detail have you lost your direction um, this is going to be a really good card for us for the end of the week. Do you have an idea or creative venture that you would like to implement? The three of fire represents the necessary sacrifice that is many that may be required when we act on our goals and objectives. When we first begin to act, we often find ourselves exploring the paths walked by those who came before us. In order to discover and determine the best way to implement our ideas, however, the same exploration can inspire new ideas that break with tradition because something old has been reimagined and expressed by a mind with a unique perceptive to make it relevant in the present. You know, we've been getting these cards that have been telling us that a lot to make the old new again make it our idea and our imagination and recreate it uh people have been doing a lot of uh, repurposing for uh, many years now and they do some amazing things with repurposed stuff and i think this is pretty much what is this this is telling i mean we all have these ideas and we watch these certain people and we get we get uh imagination going from what they're doing but we don't want to copy what they're doing we want to you know use a little bit of what they're doing but make it your own create it yourself and i think that is what this card is trying to tell us to implement those new ideas require sacrifice commitment and dedication it means stepping away from what is tried and trusted safe and secure and stepping out into the unknown with an almost blind faith and commitment. It seems putting the objective first and turning away from everything that distracts, you might prevent it from being achieved. It means working hard and not cutting corners in order to speed up the process. It means knowing that what you create will only equal what you have invested and what you are willing to invest. The three of fire lets you know that now is also a good time to explore and experiment on a practical level. Use your hands and mind to practice hone and refine your skills or abilities so that what you create and do will always be something crafted to the best of your abilities and be a true reflection of your passion and dedication. Remember also to avoid copying another's idea because this is the time to be innovated, create using your experience and imagination to inspire you instead of the vision and ideas of another. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, yeah, you could have concepts of the person that taught you and that that's fine. That's one thing because they taught you, but you don't want to take away everything that's them because then it's not going to be you. <laughs> and 
And the card that came up with that was the King of Swords, Ambition. Look to the facts before you make decisions. This man is clever and is often a strong leader in a professional career. He's a great strategist with charm and ambition, but can exert pressure too, as he's imp impatient to succeed. He can be relied upon to offer calm, logical judgment. An additional meaning is that legal issues need your attention just now. If this king comes up as you card in a reading, take a logical approach. This is the time for mental agility rather than emotion. Well, we always have to think on our mental instead of our emotional. I mean, our emotional can just get us in trouble. We can't even think when we're emotional. So, yeah, you don't want to react with emotion. Let's see what we got. Okay. The next card that we got was the two of water. And I'm thinking we got the two of water yesterday. And the two of water is go beyond infatuation and attraction. Uh, time to forgive and seek reconciliation. A meeting of the minds and hearts. Put aside judgment and blame. Cherish all of our loves. Maintain independence and avoid codependent and avoid taking sides. Right now we have to, and I've been saying it, stay in our own lane. And this is the meeting of the minds when all of the minds come together and connect and stop fighting each other. Um, the two of water represent a relationship uh, that goes beyond infatuation and physical. Yeah, I think it's a soul level. It's the soul family coming together. Um, the two of water also addresses uh, losing our self, our sense of self, our identity and our independent upon entering into any kind of relationship. It reminds us of the importance of retaining our independence, least the relationship become one of codependency and inequality. Remember that romantic love is not the only love relationship in our life. There is the love shared between friends, between humans and animals, companions for nature goals or our interests. These loves are still worthy of our time and attention. Do not focus completely on the new to the de detriment of the old. The two of water also symbolizes the importance of not allowing yourself to, to be drawn into a quarrel between friends, lovers, or to be forced to take sides. If you find yourself in that situation, remain non-judgmental, compassionate, and loving to both. Yes, stay in our own lane. And with that, we got the success card, the six of wands. Uh, this is your time to shine. So don't hold back. You deserve every success. I think what these cards right now are saying is we have to, we have to look into our passions and what lights our fire and ignites our, our drive for knowledge and, and wisdom and leveling up in our life because we are leveling up. We are going to a higher self. And these cards are saying we will have the success, but we have to look deep within and see where our passions lie and go on that. But be individual and be, you know, look at other people's stuff, but be individual and bring it out as your own. Yeah, those are great cards to think about. The other card that we got was the 11, and that's a master number, and that's body and mind. Be open-minded and questioning. You are only limited by your mind, by discerning how is your mind affecting your body? How is your body affecting your mind? Facts are certainties. Opinions are not facts. We can only change ourselves. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, this is, uh, the 11 of air has a very simple and direct meaning. If it appears in your reading today, it's like it's upright meaning symbols, a potential imbalance that needs to be addressed. So we've been talking about the imbalance and the alignment of the body, mind and soul. And we have to work on that. And this card is telling us that a we note should be also made of difference between something that has been proven to be fact and something that is theory. Theory a group of ideas, a concept. We have to think about everybody's opinion. It, it's just an opinion. So it keeps reminding us of that because we take what people say and we run with it like it, it's the fact and we should think about it. And 
oh my goodness, you know, is that me? We're questioning ourselves when somebody says something. It's just their opinion. We get the six of cups on that one, and that's reflection. And that's interesting. The body and mind is telling us to reflect. And uh, the pet. It says, enjoy reconnecting with the happiest aspects of your past, which energizes, entertains, and inspires you for the future. The past comes to life as someone from your past returns. This may be an old friend, an old flame. Equally, you may find other ways to slip back into the safe haven of your former years through remnants over old times, enjoying the company of children, creativity, play, and returning to your favorite childhood place. Uh, in a relationship, you find a sense of peace, security, and comfort. Uh, yeah, we have to kind of, when we think about the past, uh, we have to think about the good. We can't heart, we can't keep going back to the bad. We just got to release the bad. I think everybody's having a hard time releasing the past because we did get the, um, 13, the queen of air or queen of air, queen of fire. Be optimistic and enthusiastic. Engage and stimulate all senses. Give your full attention. Be focused and confident. Take pleasure in life. Yeah, she's, uh, this is a good one. Um, if you've had recent experiences and few disappointments and blows from life, uh, has your confidence been shaken and now you are wanting to hide away and wallow in self-pity and sadness? The queen of fire symbolizes a need to meet life head on. Don't hide. Pick yourself up, put your game face on, and keep going. Put your head back and laugh in the face of conflict and challenge. Make a proactive choice not to be miserable, even if it means faking it for a while. Your choice not to focus on a situation or issue that cannot be changed will serve you well. Your choice to smile and laugh, to dance and drive joy from life, in spite of disappointment and hardship, will bring good things into your life. The Queen of Fire also cautions you against giving in to catty behavior. Do not allow hurt, disappointment, jealousy, or petty rivalry to inspire you to have behave in a manner that is beneath you. You are a queen. Act with grace and dignity. Put your claws away. Your time and energy are better invested elsewhere. I completely agree with that. And the last card we got for the clarifying was the chariot movement, the seven. It's time to actively move forward with your plans. Keep that ego in check when you need to and enjoy the time of power and motivation. Yes, we need to take back our power and we need to get motivated. What drives you? What keeps you up at three o'clock in the morning? need to think about all those things. Now, we did get a gateway of light activation. Beautiful card. The chamber of violet flame, karmic release, and radical transformation. And the radical transformation is what we are going through. So I'm amazed we got this card. This is a perfect card to describe what we are going through. The violet flame is a spiritual retreat space that holds a powerful energy of transformation and transmutation. It can be visited in meditation and invoked through prayer and for affirmation. Spirituality, it is seen within a chamber, often as a giant roaring flame, and sometimes with silver and gold shining through the violet. When we connect with the violet flame, we are being given the opportunity to detach from lower vibrational experiences and turn darkness into light. <clears throat> it's a beautiful card. I love that. And ultimately, this is the gateway of alchemy. Alchemy is the art of tuning, turning lead into gold. And so from an energetic perspective, the violet flame is where you, we place all that is leaden and heavy in our life and turn it into a golden opportunity. When you receive this card, know that the violet flame of transformation has been brought to you by your angels and guides. They are encouraging you to see that you are in a space of radical transformation. Transformation can be overwhelming, but know the hand of the divine is leading the way. All past trauma is now being cleared from your energy. Stay focused on releasing all the energies that are no longer serving you. The violet flame is here to transmute fear into love. 
If any fear is rising up inside, you know, know now that it is simply a call for love. Call in the strongest form of love, you know, and allow those in your inner circle to support you through this transforma transformational time. You are an alchemist with the capacity to take all the leaden aspects of your life and turn them into a golden opportunity. You can align your life with the divine plan now and live in a more Propos ah, proposal proposalful way yeah i can say that that's like aluminum <laughs> okay that was great i love that now we've got the soul helper oracle we got one card and we got a number 16 which is a seven to conform is to die inside be brave and be yourself yes a hundred and thousand percent conforming can be a positive in certain situations for example when someone conforms out of politeness this card has a warning for you however to live means to bravely follow your own path following the paths of others means in a sense dying withering inside you merely exist on the paths of others but you cannot live you will find the light of your own life only on your own soul path. Recognize and acknowledge your lies and errors. It is a mistake to believe that you can please everyone and follow their wishes. It is impossible. You have been dazzled by the light, the bright kaleidoscope of colors of those who rob you of your strength and your light, and you have lost yourself in them. You have conformed as a chameleon would, and you are making their opinions your own. It is time to realize this and learn how to say no. It is time to have only your own colors in your life, to feel only your own happiness, to let your own light shine out, inner life or inner death. Which do you want and who are you? It is time. It is now time to rebel to start a revolution, free yourself from your lower negative energies and decide who you want to be. The moment has also come to share this with the world and those around you. Do not hesitate any longer. Your soul is speaking to you. Listen to your heart, to your the feelings, listen to your own truth. Your soul helpers for the next 21 days, the power animal is the tiger. The herbal essence is the tea tree oil. The healing crystal is the peace agate. And the number is seven. Let's see what the seven has to say. Number seven indicates that you should only trust the magic of your heart. You will be given the gift of light that makes a deep connection between you and the mystery of your life. Over the next few days, fill your soul path with love even more than usual. Love every moment, love everything and everyone, and you will become the magic of your heart. The energy field of the number seven is like a gateway of light. It is death, birth, magic, light, and the completion of a stage in life. Number seven brings new soul paths. Yes, we are all on a new soul path, and it's going to be beautiful when we get there. Because as we get there, we'll be learning and leveling up as we go. We got some amazing angels and ancestors today. It made me feel, it gave me goosebumps and it made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Um, the first one we got was the heart guardian love and let yourself be love. Uh, right now we have a lot of um, love energy coming in and we need to really love ourselves and love everybody around us. We need to show more love than normal because this world right now isn't used to it. We've been disconnected for a long time. Welcome with open arms, opportunities to give and receive love. The heart guardian is an angelic energy that can help you call for protection and guidance with all issues surrounding the heart. This is essential. The angel who helps you with all relationships whether they be with yourself, family, or even a romantic connection, she can enable you to move beyond any limit, limiting fears about trust. 
discern whom to trust and understand how you can move forward in a balanced relationship with that person. In this card, she is adorned with a sacred heart and draped in a red cloak to show her capacity to let love lead the way. Yes, she is. It's beautiful. She's got wings going on with her and she's got the heart right there. And she's just, she's just beautiful. She's just showing all her love. She's opening it up. You are love, lovable and loving. The energy of love is surrounding you, your whole world at this time. Angels are swirling around you, encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessings that you have to offer. They want you to know that you are a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love. If you are finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due. You are also encouraged to welcome support from others. Learn to receive. Don't try and do everything on your own. If you are working on a relationship or are in a new relationship, this card can usher in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. Love is in the air. Oh, I like that. That's a beautiful card. We love love, huh? That's what I'm all about, love. The last card in the Angels and Ancestors we got was the Guardian Angel, which is interesting because I just talked about the angels around us. We, You are not alone, and we know we're not alone. This is a beautiful card. We know we're not alone. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. The guardian angel card shows the white feather that has become known as the guardian angel's business card. Whenever a white feather appears in your life or this card appears in your reading, it's a message to say your guardian angels and ancestor guides are particularly close at this time and are there to support you with their love. If you have asked for help with a particular situation, know that there is a divine intervention in the works. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So know that you are never alone and never will be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you and now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it, then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. Yes, I absolutely adore that. So far, we have gotten a very beautiful reading, and I think we're going to get an even more beautiful reading because the Divine Master, we got two cards with the Divine Master, and I have been looking at this card since I, I received this deck, and I so couldn't wait till this card flew out as I was shuffling because I really wanted to read it and I never did because I wanted it to kind of be a surprise when it came out that it it needed to be read when it came out and it's the Jesus card and it's acts of service when you serve the universe serves you and we just got the love card and the angel uh so with this card and how beautiful is that I mean, literally, how beautiful is that card? Jesus of Nazareth is a bringer of truth and light. He is a guiding pr presence for the entire universe and a living, dying, spiritual demonstration that forgiveness is possible and that a life of service will ultimately bring sus sus sustenance. When Jesus walked the earth, he was persecuted for his beliefs and his bravery, yet he still loved everyone. For he saw the world through the eyes of the divine. Jesus is everywhere at once. He is with you right now. Like the angels, he awaits your call 
And with the help of the angels, he can restore you to your natural light filled self. When you call on him, he will bring light to your mind. His presence removes the blindfolds and that prevents you from seeing all the blockages that stand between you and your growth. Jesus may be a spiritual leader, but he loves to be seen as a friend and brother. He comes to us as an equal and doesn't want us to idolize him, but to see that what he has, we have too. When this card appears, you are being invited to tune in to the energy of service. Service is showing up with a generous heart and sharing your, your gifts in a way that can help the expansion of the world. It's important not to confuse the energy of service with charity. For these are two different energies and when you, you're, you service, it is okay for your gifts and talents and service to be honored in an energetic exchange. Saints from the age of 13 onward, through these encounters, oh wait, I skipped a page when I tried to turn the page. Sticking together, okay, here it is. Today, the light of heaven is encouraging you to recognize that you deserve to be honored for the talents you share. Jesus is here to help you move beyond any old ideas that you have to give until you are empty. You aren't here to live empty or half full. The divine plan is for you to enjoy fulfillment and abundance. Instead of asking the universe or God to use, you ask to be guided to serve in a way that also serves you. When you are full and overflowing, you have more energy and resources to share with others. Wow. I like the way that card read it. That was, you know, I'm, I'm going to reread that last paragraph because I think we really need to think about the way it was put. Instead of asking the universe or God to use with quotes around it, you ask to be guided to serve in a way that also serves you. When you are full and overflowing, you have more energy and resources to share with others. Yeah, I completely agree with that because I know when when we're doing good, we're always, well, even when we're doing bad, I still help people. But when we're doing good, we really help people. And when we're doing bad, we not so much, but I still, you know, tend to try to help people. Yeah, that that's a great card. I love that card. And we also got Brigid inner fire, let your passion lead you to your purpose. You know, all of this reading so far to me is about finding our purpose in life, about recreating something from the old and making it our own because we are unique in our own way, uh, giving so much love and finding so much love within and walking within your heart space on a daily basis, uh, asking to be served and be a service to others uh just so much in this reading resonates that we need to think about and the inner fire lighting the inner fire of passion because we have to have the passion to we have to love what we're doing and have the passion to what we're doing in life or we're just grumpy and irritable because we're not we're not going further in um in our life we're just we're just stagnated Brigid is a Celtic teacher of Ireland who is closely associated with fire and the seasons of spring. Her name means the bright one, and she is a teacher of fertility, healing, and all the renewing energies that spring, spring brings. In Ireland, she is the protector of wells and holy shrines. Originally, Brigitte was so well loved that when Christianity came to the British Isles, she was a, adopted as a saint, and thus she brings the energy of resilience, strength, and survival. You are a highly okay. The fur babies decided they were going to bark at something. You are a highly 
driven, passionate being with the ability to make great changes in the world. Follow what lights you up for the spiritual fire within you it is growing and glowing. And the sharing of your passion will lead to the fulfillment of your purpose. Brigid is coming to you now because it might feel as though your life is changing and the ground is unsteady beneath you. But trust that it is best to change when change is unfolding around you. This is a powerful time for you to begin anew. The seeds that you have planted with your dreams are being given the opportunity to germinate and grow. Trust in your passion and don't let the limiting beliefs or doubts of others be projected onto you. Let your fire burn and roar. Yeah, that is a great message for today. And I am going to think about that and marinate on that because, and I, I will probably listen to this later because I really feel that we are going into that love vibe. We're all trying to get balanced and realigned and, and have those easy, like Sunday morning daily journeys in our life. Uh, why can't we have it all week long, you know? And um, I just think that this was a beautiful reading. It made me smile. It gave me joy for Sunday. I mean, it was a great, great message. So, you know, everybody needs to hit the likey lovey button. It brings more of our soul family together. They'll hear this beautiful message and uh, maybe they'll, they need it right now. I'm going to put some information in the show more section, and I'm going to put a link to our GoFundMe page for the hurricane relief. If you can give, please give. If you can't, we understand completely. We love you anyway. Um, I love you all very much, and may every step in your journey be magical. And just be you.